All right, thanks for joining us on uh, another episode of uh, Guardian Answers. Uh, today we're going to talk about, I guess, what a, what is a bump key and how does it work? So, first time I heard about a bump key was probably when I was a year into the trade, maybe 2008-ish. Um, and basically what it is, it's a method that locksmiths have used for a long time on getting into to locks, right? So traditionally, if you're going to get into a lock, you can pick the lock or you can, you know, uh, use a key, of course, or you can do a method called bumping. So bumping, let me tell you the difference between bumping and kind of picking. Picking is where you take a, a tension tool and a pick and you're trying to pick the chambers until you get everything to hang up on the shear line and then the lock turns over. The shear line is what, when you stick in a key that has different cuts in it, when the bottom pins all line up and match, uh, correspond with the correct divots in the key, it'll create a shear line of where all the pins line up flush. All the first pins, the bottom pins, line up flush. And then on top of that bottom pin, you have a driver pin that pushes the pin down. And on top of that pin is a spring. So spring, driver pin, bottom pin. When all the bottom pins fit perfectly into the key or it's picked correctly and it's hung up on a line, it separates those two levels of pins and allows the whole cylinder to turn. So when you're bumping, what you're trying to do is you're, you're jarring those, you're kind of hitting them and you're making them spring up, spring up, and you're trying to get them to catch and create a shear line uh, so that you can get it to turn over. And it's a very effective way of getting in. And it takes a little bit of practice. Uh, it takes a machine to be able to cut keys. For one, though, you gotta have to be able to ability to cut keys or someone to cut them for you. Um, but if you can, if you have a machine that can cut the keys that you need, the blanks that you need, because you can, for every type of lock, it has to have the right blank too. So you have to have a key cutting machine. You have to have the know-how of how to cut the, the keys, and then you have to have time to practice it. So if I'm going to be using a bump key on a Schlage lock, I have to have the appropriate Schlage key blank cut the appropriate way for a bump key to work just on those particular types of locks. If I'm going to use a bump key for a quick set, then I have to make a five pin bump key for a quick set. If it's a quick set Titan, which is a six pin, then I have to make a bump key for the six pin version. So every single lock has its own bump key. So I have rings full of wiggle keys, which we're gonna talk about that in another video. Wiggle keys, bump keys, all my little tactical keys that I use to get into to locks. So I don't wanna get, I'm gonna give out a lot of information, but I'm, I'm not gonna spell it out for a criminal. So what it is on a bump key is basically, you can do it two different ways. Both ways require you using the deepest cut. So if you're using a Schlage, for instance, a Schlage key, and the deepest cut on a Schlage is a nine, then you'd cut all nines on your key. Okay, it'll look something like that. Now, the you can do it that way, but in order to get them to jar up, you kind of have to have the cuts offset they can't be where they're supposed to be they kind of need to be off or if you cut if the bump keys cut just all to the deepest cut then you have to use something to help spring it out otherwise every time you do the bump key you have to hit it pull it back out hit it pull it back out hit it pull it back out until you get it to pick over if you make the bump key correctly in my opinion a correct bump key can do everything in it alone by itself without anything additional so to create a, bit, uh, a bump key that when every time you hit it, it'll pop back out so you can hit it again without having to reset. Then you'd cut it all to the deepest cuts and then offset it by about a half on the spacing. And then you'd hit it and the key would just come back out a little bit. And you'd hit it and it'd come back out a little bit. But a lot of people or a lot of uh, technicians just make it the easy way and just cut it all to the deepest cut and then either use the method I talked about, hit, pull out, hit, pull out, or use some kind of uh, device or attachment that'll help it spring out on its own. What we use are these little rings right here, okay? To make it spring back out, since this one's cut just to all the deepest cuts, nothing's changed on the spacing, it's all factory, just all the deepest cuts, then we use these little rings right here. Now these rings are called castration rings. They work perfectly for it, they're obviously used for castration, but we got them at uh, um, Tractor Supply. Tractor Supply has them. So put these rings around it like that, and then every time you hit it, it'll bounce back out on its own because it has that, that, that there for spring. Otherwise, it's, uh, it's uh, I have to put it in, pull it out of here, 
then try it. And then, and then I have to pull back out of here, then try it. And pull back out of here, then try it. So we're going to go and attempt it here. I'm going to show you. I put that ring on there so it can bounce. I'm going to do this one right here. And I'm basically just going to hit and turn. So this is a uh, this is made for bumping. I don't use it very often, but I, I remembered I had this, so I wanted to show this. This is made so it can kind of smack, 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 you know, as you're doing it. I used to do it like this all the time. I'd take the end of my screwdriver and I'd sit here and I would just go like this, you know, like that and kind of catch it. See, got it. Just like that. Unlocked. So anyway, lock it back. See how easy that was? That was with the screwdriver. So if I want to use your fancy and use a tool, it kind of, it's a flimsy little hammer. It's like a, it's a bump hammer. You can put this in there like that. And then there you go. Pretty easy, huh? It's not always that easy to have practice. So anyway, that's how a bump key works. So like I said, for each different type of key, you're going to have to have a Schlage bump key, uh, a quick set bump key, a Falcon bump key, or a Sergeant bump key, or whatever. So you can do it a couple different ways. To recap, you can do it with the castration ring to help it spring off, or you can just cut out all the deep cuts and then offset it a half so that the key naturally doesn't line up in there and it kind of springs it back out so that you can do it without using something to bounce it out. But after all the years of picking up tips from everybody that's tried it in many different ways, because all of us share information and trade, this seems to be the best way. Using the castration ring with the key, it makes it pretty dang easy. And then if you have this little hammer too, oops, hold on. It's a little harder up here because it's not as balanced. So let me just move back down to this one. They're not super keyed easy or anything like that either. And they're just normal key cuts that I picked up. Sometimes you gotta reset it. And sometimes these keys will break and you just have to make another one. But let's try it one more time. My stand's moving on me, so there we go. Let's try it. Is it locked? Yeah, it's locked. Take that there. So it's pop hit, pop hit. Now it's not wanting to do it, but the key's getting a little, uh, a little bent up too, so I could swap it out with a different key. I made some different variations of it, but you get the point. So all it is is uh, you're using this ring to pull it right back out. So let's give it another little test here. I can try it with my screwdriver. And you do it one finger. It makes it a lot harder on this because this whole thing's moving and stuff, but you saw me do it a while ago. But anyway, the whole point is, is that you're doing a, it's a strike and immediate grab because I'm trying to turn the key right at the same moment. So it's, it's a strike grab like that. And you have to be careful not to smack your finger because it hurts. <laughs> so it's just a catch and grab, catch and grab. Or sometimes you have to go harder with it. Or sometimes you go lighter with it. And you just have to kind of find that, that sweet spot. I don't want to keep doing it and messing up my key here. But anyway, we bumped them both over for you. You saw how it worked. That's how a bump key works. Schlage's actually harder to do them on a quick set. Quick set are extremely easy. These are all Schlage locks. So technique is hit move, hit move, hit move like that. Use the castration spring, uh, band. If you don't have one, then it's it's a pull out a little bit. And so this technique real quick. It's a pull out, just a hair. Bump, try once. Reset, pull out a little bit again. Try it again. Reset, pull out again. Bump, pull out again. Bump. That's the process if you're not, if you don't have the castration ring. So anyway. Hopefully this helped you out, understand what that is. It's a method that we can use if we try to pick, oh man, I'm tired of picking, my hands cramping up, and get a bump key real quick, pop, 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 got it. Or no, that didn't work, and then you have to go plan you know, C or D. But uh, bump keys are a normal tool in, in, uh, in a locksmith's possession, as something that one of the main ways we use to get in, bump keys, picks, or if you can't get in that way, then it's drilling. So hopefully you enjoyed the content. Um, We'll keep making little videos like this, guardian answer videos that, that answer common uh, search questions. And this is definitely one. So uh, if you have any other questions, put it down in the uh, comments below, or if you have any uh, experiences that you'd like to share, go ahead and share it below. We appreciate the support as always. Don't forget, we have two other YouTube channels, Guardian Approved and Udropreneur. We'll put the links up somewhere around here for you. 
And then uh, don't forget, we're on all the social media platforms, uh, LinkedIn, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram. We appreciate the support as always. Thanks for tuning in.